people used to say that A beta is the peptide from hell because it's so difficult to work with it. It's sticky, you know, and it, you can't control really. It's difficult to, to control what you have. And we have been now working since, I would say, 30 years with A beta, and we think that we can handle it fairly well. So we can, we can make monomers, we can make oligomers of different sizes. And our definition is that oligomers are smaller than protofibrils. And this is how we defined it. So smaller than 75 kilo Dalton that we name oligomers, and larger but still soluble protofibrils. So we can make oligomers of different sizes, and we can make small and large protofibrils, and then we can make fibrils. And then we examine three antibodies. In my, I will present this on Friday. Three different antibodies. Lecanemab, aducanemab, and gantinirumab. How they bind to these different forms. And we use three different methods to investigate binding properties. <coughs> we use something we call inhibition ELISA, which is our favorite method, uh, the method we have used now for 15, 15, 20 years. And the antibody and the antigen are allowed to interact in solution at low concentrations which is, I think this is an important aspect because then it's a little bit like what happens in the brain when small amounts of antibody enter the brain and then we can see how this interaction appears. Then we use um, biacore or surface plasmon resonance uh, which also measures the, the binding with, between antibody and the antigen on a surface chip. So the, that's the second method. And then we have immunoprecipitation, where we t the antibody immunoprecipitate from brain solution, TBS extract from Alzheimer's brain, or from synthetic Aveta. So we can compare with th these different methods uh, how, how it, uh, the antibodies compare to each other. And, and I can say that the main conclusion from this is that lecanemab is the only antibody that has its strongest binding to protofibrils. It has 10 to 15 times stronger binding to protofibrils than to fibrils. Both aducanemab and gantinirumab has its strongest binding to fibrils. So that, that's a difference the main difference between the, the antibodies. And we, we believe that these this are pure in, in vitro test tube experiments, but we believe that this type of experiment will tell us something about how the antibody will behave in, in uh, clinical studies and in, when uh, you are trying to treat patients with Alzheimer's disease. That is our belief.